I see myself as the same kid I was when I was on campus here. I, I'm the same person, I'm the same personality. What Major League Baseball and, and the success that I've enjoyed has brought me is a platform. You look at Angel Stadium, Azusa Pacific is all over that. Now I'm around the country and I hear APU. I take Azusa Pacific with pride everywhere I go. I kind of got the idea, you know, I want to put an all-star jersey in the clubhouse. My intention behind it is every day when these guys walk in and out of this clubhouse, when they're going out to practice, I want them to look up there and be like, man, if I stay dedicated to this, you never know what could happen. Stevens had such a big impact on this program and outside of the baseball success, just who he is as a person that, you know, I think the guys feel like they were a part of that process. As a young guy, to be able to look at that and go, hey, that guy was sitting in this locker at one point. I think it gives him a little sense of hope and maybe a little more motivation to work hard that day. I have a very vivid and specific memory of Steven. He comes in as a freshman, and we don't typically play freshmen here. And it was before the start of an inning, and Steven called everybody together. He's got his catcher's gear on. And what he said was not over the top. It was just perfect spot on. I just remember thinking, wow, what a leader. We're super proud of what he's doing in Major League Baseball and, and uh, the accolades and awards he's getting. I mean, he exhibited those same traits while he was here. We see him doing fun things in Big League Baseball. He was doing those fun things here. My dad was my coach growing up, and the way he would talk to us about, if you're not having fun playing this game, why are you doing it? I learned at a very young age, like, if I can keep everybody smiling in here, we're going to win. Being able to bring them back, I mean, it's family. And these guys, they know a lot about him. And prior to him being a big league all-star, we talked about his leadership after his first year out. The great thing is that Steven doesn't see himself as a celebrity. He gets in and he's still fired up about Azusa Pacific Baseball and he follows Azusa Pacific Baseball and he knows these guys by name and so he's excited to meet the players that he's been reading about. And that's the type of guy Steven is. He, he makes people very disarmed around him and very comfortable. And they'll feel like, man, this is one of our guys. You know, I'd never hit below 400 in my life until I got professional baseball. I would have loved to have sat down with a person like myself and said, why is it so hard as you get better? And just hearing them explain the process of, you go from playing against maybe two professional baseball players every day when you're in college, to one big leaguer when you're in the minor leagues, to playing against the best of the best every night, and you better bring your A game. I just encourage you guys as you're going through APU baseball, and enjoy it, because it's a legacy that you're gonna leave. What is this team right here? What's your legacy gonna be? There's a lot of times where there's the Division I stigma, where if you're not at a Division I school, you're never going to make it. I want guys to be in this room and be proud of what this place has produced. And I want it to be a reminder that, you know what, no matter what you think, you can succeed if you put your heart to it. He's left a great legacy of leadership that we continue to try to infuse into our younger players now. If people ever ask me about college, I just say, yeah, I went to the Azusa Pacific University.